premium trinkets and doodads. I know that stuff there. There is a march I wager. Dark more the wicked. Seems that way. Let's get going. Oh, he terrorized everyone and everything between the woods of Cloak and Star. Not place the influence up, this. Hmm. Oh. Last light's best bargains right here. Can I really not pick that up? Yes. Wait, really? You should not wish to live in more interesting Fine. times. Please. Be welcome. Ah, comrade. Have a drink. Do your very good health. Smell the wine first. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. He doesn't spoil the taste if that's what you're wondering. Decline the wine. No, but it spoils my trust. Indulge me. No. You don't know what you're missing. If you don't trust me, then you don't trust well me. Over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Mm. I see now why you spiked the wine. Just answer the question. Mm. Powers are giving me powers I never had before. It's uh, changing me for the best. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's trying to. He's not gonna trust me, I'm just gonna, you know, oh no. Inspiration, save me. No? I find that decidedly hard to believe. It's a matter of inspiration. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? You don't pull any more tricks like that. Mmm. What happened to being a godson you were paying for? That was a public display of hope. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. His ha uh, bags, perhaps you should hit him hard on the first place. Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Kedrick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army Oh, so that's the general talking about Catherick. Destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. 
But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Hmm. You think I can kill him? Not immediately. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at moonrise. I didn't tell him about the artifact. As a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Hmm. Seems like I'll be doing most of the heavy lifting. You're the only one who can get inside the towers. You were born for this mission. Or made for it, rather. Besides, you need this. You need to heal yourself of your infection. Hmm. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Interesting. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Kitty camp. Oh, it's Bacchus. I say his. I say his. Intimidation hiss. Arm yourself, kitty cat. I see. Yes, perhaps you're right. Good. I like seeing we have a civil discussion. Fine. What's your name? I call myself His Majesty. Naturally. Anything interesting around here? Plenty of pointless banging about. The only highlight was when the cleric here promised me a bit of milk that is yet to materialize. My conclusion? She's a liar. He's a liar. How <laughs> did you get to this place? It was quite straightforward. I slinked. You someone like you in my camp, Kerry Drawing? I'd rather die. Rude. These things have stayed interesting. Ah, you found your way. Good. Hmm. Did throw a few hiccups along the way. Nasty place, isn't it? My torch only just held out long enough for me to find my way here. So you're making? A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the brilliant retort. You'll need give it to me. It if you're going to survive this cursed place, you'll need it. If you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there, you'll need it. If you're going to save Wilbrin. Hmm. Thought that was your mission. Let's call a thing a thing. A Deep Gnome won't get far into the Absolute's Orgy of Evil. Orgy of Evil. We learned that in the Underdark with those sadistic Swergar, didn't we? It's doubly true in this place. You, on the other hand, have proven resourceful in such infiltrations. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, 
I will make it. Which means you're missing something. Um, I'll keep an eye out for your friends, but no promises. I seek not promises, my friend, but deeds worthy of your prodigious talents. Oh, now, so brown nosing now. You, off to your uh, heroism, uh, as it were. Some of us are counting on you. Is that it? What now? I'm sure you would. Um. Okay. Acrobatics and Dex. Ten sounds like a. Ooh, more dragon slay. I'm worried I'm gonna run into dragons soon. That's that's the sense I'm getting. Ah, mole. Your move, mole. Mole playing with Raphael. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Siri. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Uh, you actually did, kid. Well, at least the help that made it easier. Do you play dance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Mole's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. I've always laid a fine trap for you, Mole. It looks to me like his Siri could be dethroned. Why, oh, Hannah, slightly jostle. <laughs> uh, no. Mm. My dex is super bad and I don't have any inspiration. Mmm. Put pressure on him? The Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How's that for Kalimsham rolls? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? Uh, what offer did he make you, Mole? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. Uh, there's plenty about me you have no idea about. Don't I? Indeed. But don't you worry about Mole. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Besides, I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. Mmm. You stay away from Mole. She won. She has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. But enough about my lesser pursuits. Why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? Tell me, oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear in this light. You know, I've never been better. Splendid. And yet, I have this picture in my head of you tossing and turning in the middle of the night 
thinking strange things, dreaming strange dreams. And there's this little voice inside of you asking, is this my will or is it the worms? But you have no answer and no way of knowing. The good thing is, though, there's only one little voice you really should listen to. Mine. Right. See you soon. Hmm. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Mm. Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. Mm, we need to warn her from Raphael before it's too late. Mm. We should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her neck. Let's hope so. She'll see there's no winning Raphael's game. And she'll walk away. And if she doesn't? Then Raphael collects another trophy. And Mole sells her independence to the hell. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Moll would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. Yeah. Nice strategy back there. If we put our heads together, I bet you and me could make a tidy stack of coin in Bolter's Gate. But Raphael's offered me a partnership already, and it seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. Hmm. More empty promises by some, uh, yeah, by a full-tongued monster. Zevlor had beneath me. Didn't get him anywhere good. Besides, Raphael wasn't promising anything stupid. Protection for me and my kids, that's all. Her smile is broad, her eyes twinkling. Her face the very picture of innocence. She's clearly lying. But I haven't accepted nothing yet. Sounds like you're in deeper than I am. Persuasion check. Yeah, let's try and get this one. Yes, good, 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 good. I think I just want an important for Mole, and I need my thief's den under my control, so not Raphael's. Also, when we get there, I'd be head of a thief's guild. Hmm. Trust me, it might sound good, but it's not worth it. Easy for you to say. You can do what you want, go where you want. My kids need protecting, and I'm going to protect them. Look, you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Now there's no grows, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal, maybe I won't. But it'll be my choice, not the devil's, and not yours. Hmm. Oh no, I feel like that conversation could have gone better. I'm going to try again. Because trying to force her in a direction, I don't think will work. Hmm. Me a partnership already, and it 
Seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. He's a real literal devil mole. Just souls in danger. No groans. Maybe I'll make it. Okay. Well, that's rolling. There's another bottle of Arabellan dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Yeah, you need to lay off the liquor. Uh, it's you. Don't you get tired of telling people how to live their lives? If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. Hmm. Look, I just want to get this out of this cursed hellhole. That's all I wanted. Back at the grove. But you had other ideas. Cowl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero. And now they're gone. Do you know where they are? Stop whining and do something about it. Oh, I will. You go save the world. Or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. I don't need your help, and I don't need your Where are your siblings? Or in the cult's tower with the others who are taken. So many prisoners in the tower. Mm, so long I've arrested them. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Uh huh. I tried telling Mr. Roland. Nice try, kid. Last light's best bargain, right here. Uh, we need to meet up. The map is ready to go. Go to my place, head to the basement, uh, look for the tower. You should have the key. Ignore the chest. I mean it. Go straight through and you'll find it. Sign Morfred. Hmm. 
Sorry, they got you too. Yeah, I'm glad you made you too. Uh, one half the curse. It wasn't the curse that did us in. We were ambushed out in the darkness by cultists. We surrendered. But that wasn't enough for them. They lined us up like dogs. Ashrak was with the kids, telling them it was going to be all right. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first, then his tongue. I don't remember who Ashrak is, but damn. Which one was Ashrak again? Uh, which? Back in the grove, he ran drills with the kids. Wooden swords and the like. Oh, him! That seems like a lifetime ago now. Rolan of all people saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. Hmm. I know a rolling nap with me. Can you blame him? His brother and sister are gone. He's dealing with it as best he can. We all are. How do you do it? How do you keep going? Pull the loop. <laughs> I'll let you know when I figure it out. We're in the same boat then. That's somewhat of a comfort. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Mm. I don't think that's the right one. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there. All right? I can't, I can't handle anyone them. else dying. Hmm. I recognize up here. Hello. Since I returned, there's been uh, a filth in me. You know, my very lungs, I cannot get it out. It will never, uh, it will never out. This death that reeks within me. There are some things even the Moon Maiden cannot he uh, heal. This place has definitely seen better days, that's for sure. in here. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the counselor's room. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose it. He still won't speak. To 
just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. The fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must say something. Let's not give up on him yet. What's up? Forek. Well? Guards, please no. The Blade of Frontiers was supposed to be my secret weapon. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers. Just go here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. Okay. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The steel watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Gortash, as in Enver Gortash. Last I knew, he was a minor player in city affairs. A lot's changed since you left Baldur's Gate, Will. Gortash has gained considerable influence since then. Well, Gortash, I thought he was uh, no more than a counselor. Lord Gortash is the man responsible.